So this is probably one of my top three time-saving automations of all time. I really need this. I really need this too. Anyone who's a creator, solopreneur, small business owner, sells digital products, sells services, agency owner, literally anyone who likes getting paid. Hello, I like money. You're gonna love this automation. Automation agencies will charge like $2,000 to build this out, but watch the tutorial if you wanna do it yourself for free. Basically, I have like two different automations here. So the first automation automatically creates a customer in my QuickBooks or any other accounting software. And the second automation creates a new invoice for the customer and sends them an email. So I'm using two tools for this. One's gonna be Airtable, which is kind of like my CMS, my content management system, where I kind of keep track of all my records and my customers. Second is gonna be Zapier, which is what I'm gonna use to automate the flow. Again, it does not require any coding. And if you have no automation experience before, trust me, it is simple enough for you to do it yourself as well. First up, we have Airtable. So if you are not familiar with Airtable, it's kind of like Excel sheets, but like with more superpowers. So you can have like multiple sheets, but like instead of every column, like just a normal cell, you can have like different text types, for example, numbers, like, you know, variables and stuff like that. So, you know, we don't have to get into Airtable tutorial. Let me know if you need help with Airtable. But anyway, I'm assuming that you kind of know what Airtable is. So we're just gonna move along here in the tutorial. So I just have like a simple form here for customer information. So as soon as I sign up a new client, so I just send them this form so I can get all the customer details for the invoicing. So let's say I just kind of create a customer for myself here. I'm just gonna put myself, I'm gonna put my email here, gonna put my company name and then my address. As soon as I submitted the form, I have this data here, which added me as a new customer. So that's gonna trigger our automation. All we did here was just create a new customer in our QuickBooks. So you can do this with QuickBooks, or you can do this with any other accounting software that you use. So here, all I'm doing here is like, you know, connecting my accounting software. And then in the configure step, I'm just sort of like mapping fields one to one. So the full name from my Airtable, whatever customer is giving me. So like basically for all the required fields, I'm just adding that information from a forms. So as soon as the customer fills out the form, they're already added as a new customer in my QuickBooks. So all I gotta do here is just select my customer in my Airtable and then enter the invoice amount. That's gonna trigger my automation and it's gonna generate the invoice and then send it to the customer automatically. So let's see how we did that. So the first step is when we have a new submission. So this is sort of referring to the Airtable we were just looking at, the new record I just added for the customer and the invoice. So that's gonna trigger our automation. And then I have like a bit of a delay here. So here I'm just kind of delaying it by two minutes. This is just to make sure I have enough time to like add any invoicing details because if I do right away, it might not pick up all the data and I'm gonna miss information in my invoice. So it's gonna like make Make the whole automation useless totally useless this is like you can try without it but i just want to make sure a place safe so i just have a two minute delay okay so the next step here is to find the customer in quickbooks so since like the information that we used in airtable is kind of like what we sent to quickbooks and then like we're kind of like finding the same and then we use the same customer name in our like you know lookup field that we're using to find the customer in quickbooks we make sure that there's no error or there's no mismatch in the customer name we're looking for and we're going to find the right customer so all we do here is like we go find the customer and then once we have the customer we have like three paths here for the automation you don't necessarily need that this is just in case like you know like i'm in canada we have to charge gst state tax federal tax social security tax so if like the customer is not gst registered like can i create the invoice accordingly versus if they do so if you have like different services with different like taxes or whatever different scenarios you might have for your invoices you can have like different paths on how you want it to split up so here the first path is where the tax is exempt the second path is like when the tax is not exempt and then the third one is like you know it's kind of like a condition where in case there's in any error so in case like i can find a customer i just send a slack message to myself that way i can just look up what's going on if there was an error or if this is a new customer i so just kind of like to make sure everything is working smoothlessly and smoothlessly that's not a word everything is working seamlessly and then i can always be on top of my automations here so we're just going to look over one of these steps here the path here is that tax is exempt again i just want to make sure that i'm looking at the right customer this is like redundancy i think i can like skip one of these two look up the customer steps and you should be okay so once i look up the customer i'm just going to go to the next action which is going to be create invoice so here i'm connecting my quickbooks online account my action is create invoice and in the configure step i'm just like finding the customer id from this step so like if i just go here you can see like you can go to the results of your previous step whichever variable you want to use for any automation step so i'm here i'm trying to find the customer by customer id because i want to make sure it's all unique similarly i'm mapping out the other fields i need for the invoice just from like you know the details of the customer finding customer step here i have the billing address i have like you know the terms for the invoicing 
their shipping date, which I'm just using when the Airtable record was created because that's how I work for my business. And then the service date. So again, you can have this Airtable fields for every service that you're offering. So that way you can automatically map it out to your invoicing. And here I have the amount, which is again, my field from the Airtable. And that's pretty much it. I kind of map all this out and then I test it and it's going to automatically go to my QuickBooks and create the invoice for me. The other step is similar here, just in case like, you know, if the tax is not exempt, now I'm just going to be like picking up the tax field for the customer as well. So I'm just going to show you here quickly how that works. So here for the taxes, a tax is excluded from the pricing. So that's how I'm calculating it. And uh, I can like, you know, sort of select whatever tax amount I want to add. So here my tax code is GST. So that's kind of wanted to show you like if I have tax exempt if i have a customer with not tax exempt it's going to automatically add the tax code for gst for the invoice and my last step for both of these steps is to like create an email so here i'm just gonna like create an email draft you can send it to the customer if you want but uh, i just want to make sure i get to review it before i send it away you know i don't really trust ai as well just yet trust me well, I mean, all these systems are reliable, but I just want to have a bit of human intervention just to make sure everything is perfect. And that's pretty much it. So the first automation sort of creates the customer and the second automation takes the new record, finds the customer in QuickBooks, and then based on whatever conditions we want, it will create the invoice automatically with the data from the Airtable and then add it to QuickBooks automatically and then create a draft email for the customers so we can send that, send it to them right away. So here is my email drafted. Here's the invoice for future collaboration. Here's my subject line. I have this invoice 12, which is ready to go. I would have to delete this or void this from my accounting software. I did it for, you know, this video, but you kind of get the idea, like how we were able to like just generate the invoice without doing any of the work. So I did a video on Zapier's channel actually, where you can like create the invoice just using a voice note. I can try to link it if I can find it. Um, so yeah, if you like more tools and tricks like this, like subscribe to the channel. If you want my team to help you with building automations for your business, I'm going to link a Google form below. So just fill it out and I will, will be in touch. As always, if you think this video inspired you, helped you, please leave a thumbs up. Thank you.